Uh, I'm literally freaking out. Like, where is my car? Like, did I leave it in the car? Went in the car to check. Yo, I left it at the mother ATM. No way. Oh my god! What the fuck? I'm passing the phone to a bitch where her legs float in her boots. <laughs> <laughs> I can explain. Surfer. How I let myself be blind know what was happening. We have vibes and energy around me led to the clash. Shit is over now. I'm all on my passion. Write any lyrics contemplating. I'm feeling numb with compassion. Peep shit, sit back, see how they move with their action. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys, I just got this package from my girl Moon. And if you don't know, Moon is the CEO owner of Moon X Cosmetics. And she sent me a PR package. And I just want to say shout out to her because she rebranded her brand. She's a successful business owner. And you know, I'm really happy to be her friend and be a part of her life. So period. We are going to open this package up. And I'm going to um, do it on my phone too, so I might be looking at two cameras. But I just want to come on here and show y'all the products and try them out, let y'all know how they work for me. And yeah, so let's get into it. Oh my God, it might get a little messy in here. But here she got the. So it looks like a few products is in here. But here we have a Radiance Oil Cleanser, a Super Cleanser. Glow toner, hydro moisturizer, and a rose galore facial oil. Yeah. These boxes are so cute. It's like, I don't know, it's giving me like Easter vibes. Like, it's giving me, you know, like these, these colors. So cute. Big moon. Not the little one. Oh my god, these are so cute. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure each of these have directions, yes, on how to use them, the ingredients. So, so on the box, she has the order in which you would use them. So that way you can decipher what goes with what if you mix it up. She has the order on each box bubbled in. Right. But yeah, just stay tuned, watch my vlogs, and I'm going to let you know how that goes. Okay, so today is, I think, December. Not December. Today is, I think, December 5th, and it's 11.55 a.m. right now, and I'm on my way to the bank. <clears throat> I had this situation go on. Oh, my God, y'all. So, I guess I'll tell you. It's two things that happened to me that was just like, but why? But like, why did that need to happen? So, I guess since we're on the topic of the bank, let's go to that. So, yesterday, I went to the bank. I went to two banks. I went to pull out cash from one bank, and then I went to my other bank to make a deposit but you know yesterday was sunday so i can only go to the atm so after leaving the first bank and pulling out the cash and then going to the second bank y'all why i went to the second bank to deposit this line to deposit my cash at the atm and the atm was dead ass tweaking like on some crazy ish like it was making it damn near impossible for me to make my simple deposit so i'm like literally at the atm for like 30 minutes it's telling me my bills is reading as checks i had to make it return me the money and then i had to split the money in increments to like deposit at different times to try to see if that will help it was counting the money wrong to where i was like wait did i mess up at the first bank like i'm literally going back and forth with this ATM to deposit some bread. And it's never been that complicated. So I'm dead confused. I gotta get a thing for the car. I'm out. So, <clears throat> before I go inside, let me tell y'all the story. So I'm literally like, yo, like, what's going on? So I'm fighting with the machine. I'm seeing car after car pull up behind me. Car after car pull up behind me. I'm like, yo, these people about to start beeping me to go in a minute. Like, they're about to start getting mad. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. So, finally, I get my cash in. And I grab my receipt and I drive off. And I stop at the stop sign, like, in the parking lot still, to, like, make sure the money went in. Because I'm like, the way this bank is speaking, let me make sure my money is in my account. 
So I get home, I drive home, and I'm going to make a payment with the account that I just put that cash in. I'm looking for my card. I'm like, where's my card? I'm looking like, where's my card? Like, where's my card? Y'all, I'm literally freaking out. Like, where is my card? <laughs> like, I literally told this story on my close friends. I was so heated. I'm like, did I leave it in the car? Went in the car to check. Y'all, I left it at, yo, I left it at the mother ATM. And it was a it was bad cars behind me, so I'm like, yo, I literally was like, I'm the, I'm a Libra, so I'm the type of person where I don't like to feel defeated. I'm going back and forth with a machine or whatever, and I don't like to feel defeated. Like, dang, this this machine really just got over on me. So I'm like, let me go back. I know the car's not gonna be there when I go back, but I'm like, I need to teach myself a lesson to like, because I was just, it was just so much going on in my mind with that damn machine. Like, I really wanted to punch the machine. That guy was gonna do something or something. Like, you know how when you get frustrated, you. People start hitting the machine or the vending machine and go do shit. So I'm like, yeah, during the drive, I'm gonna have to think about what I did. Like, this is my punishment because I know the car's not there. Because I'm thinking about me as a good citizen, and I'm like, I would have probably took the cord out, not knowing the zip code, not knowing the pin, but you know, it was a business cord. So they seen the business name and probably, I don't know, they probably like, yeah, I'm finna, I'm up now, I'm up. I would have put the card, I would have threw it on the floor and maybe like put it on the top of the ATM for the person who realized that card was going. And mind you, I just got this card. This was going to be my first transaction. I went back. The card wasn't there, of course. And so oh, I'm like, okay. I locked the card when I realized it was going. That person going to try to buy some ish on Amazon with my card a few hours later. And then they try to shop on Sheen. But two hundred seventy something dollars. Like you thought you was up. Not them trying to shop on Sheen with my card. Like you're crazy. So anyway, I'm at the bank right now, about to get a new card, situate that, like, and fix all that, cause it was just a mess, like a mess. So I come back when we get back in the car. Yo, that's my friend Ari's song. It is Versace. This shit made by Versace, not Versace or Versace. Versace. Yeah. Yeah. Money bought a bag type shit. Trying to be the boss bitch with charisma. Damn, I was lost for a little bitch. Now I'm back round. Bitch, I heard you in the first motherfucking round. Now I'm headed off northbound. And that be needing to always a sound. So I'm at Chick fil A, y'all. About to give me an order. I have to call my mom, see if she wants something. Okay. Nicole. We're going to get started for you. Let me do a. Uh, Chick fil A Deluxe, no pickles. You want that as a meal? Yes, please. Large fry. I want it to be like uh, no salt. Sorry, what was it? No, no salt. salt. Alrighty, and what type would you like? A large lemonade. And then I would like to do um, two mac and cheeses. Two, two mac and cheeses? And then another Chick fil A uh, Deluxe meal. You want that as a meal or no? Um, yeah, you can do it. No pickles, American cheese on both of them, please. Did you want no pickles on the first one as well? Yeah. Actually, I'm sorry. Let's just do one deluxe and then let's do an eight count meal. Eight count. An eight count meal? Mm hmm And what drink with that one? Um, a lemonade is cool as well. Did you want a sauce with those? Barbecue sauce, um, barbecue sauce, Chick Fil A sauce, and ranch. Alrighty. So and mayo. Mayo, gotcha. please. Alrighty. So it was an original deluxe meal with American cheese, no pickles, large fry, no salt, a large lemonade, two sides of mac and cheese, an eight count nugget meal with the lemonade. Twenty eight ninety three. I was just on my phone just now. I feel like, I hope I wasn't rude. Sorry, we like shake it all over the place. <laughs> I gotta hold y'all because I don't have a 
So tip for getting your fries fresh is saying no salt. I mean, unless you're a salty girl and just ask for salt on the side. That makes sure your fries are so fresh and, and crunchy. Just a little tip. They're making my food fresh for me, child. Child, you know how when you are hungry, you just gotta try a couple fries. So fresh. Mm. Mm. Alright, so now I'm going to my filming studio slash office space. Yeah. Uh, I will say this. Them paninis I made the other day had me in a chokehold. Go see how I made them if you haven't seen it. And definitely, definitely, definitely let me know how it tastes when y'all made it or tried it. And just to be clear on the sandwich meat I used, it was boar's head honey maple turkey. So I don't know if y'all knew this about me, but I'm a barbecue sauce girl. I just kind of got into this ranch a year ago. I love ranch. I was missing out. Ranch is good on everything. Like, literally. No, I'm not going to put barbecue sauce on seafood. I mean, I probably would try it. Well, I think I have, like, tried a little shrimp. A little barbecue sauce, but that's not typically what I'm gonna do. But definitely ranch go good on everything. Like it's crazy. Okay, Grandpa on the charger. Just seen the Grandpa get in the charger chair. It's been his best life. But anyway, I'll just tap back in with y'all when we get there, and I'm gonna tell y'all about the uh, laptop while I'm eating. Okay, yeah. Whoa. May. Guys, look what just happened to me. Look what just happened to me. Great way to start. My Monday. Like, this is all that's left in the cup. Oh my god, this so fucked up. Like. Okay, so I already ate and. I'm about to plan out my day, so I just went, well, not plan out my day, but get ready for my look. But y'all, I'm not blocked on Instagram Live no more, so hopefully I stay unblocked. But I packed some stuff with me because I want to do this look today. I don't know how it's going to look. And I don't think I'm posting these pictures anytime soon because I just did a boot look. So I don't want to do boots back to back. But I don't know. So I seen Deira do this on her uh, vlog, which was mad cute, where she like cut up one of her hoodies on the shoulders and I kind of want to do that with this but then again I kind of want to leave it because the hoodie might be cute too but I'm thinking to do this hoodie from this brand called Mug. I should check them out and then I have these boots I've had these boots forever I got these from Public Desire last year and I never wore them so I feel like that would be perfect with these and since we're just doing a leathery vibe I wanted to wear this with my last outfit I had asked out about on TikTok when I did get ready with me this skirt but obviously it's gonna like give a mini vibe or if we don't like that combo maybe we could do the the orange boots with the blue I don't know I'm gonna play with different stuff and then I also have these boots that are like flat but still thigh high and then we got two purse options. My good old Telfeezy. If you want to tone it down. And this one. So I have a few options to see what we're going to do today. And I see this hairstyle that's viral, which I will have to go. Well, I seen it on the Daily Dose of Hair. I want to recreate. I have a fishtail in and I just took a picture with my fishtail. But I want to do something else with the fishtail. So I'm about to do like a recreating a viral look as far as the hairstyle so yeah i should watch that video because that's gonna be like a sit down video with my makeup and stuff to go with this look yeah i'm about to get into that i'm about to film right now so 
switch up my batteries and then i'll see y'all pretty much when it's done i guess i'm gonna go about the day but let me call marcus real quick and see if he's down to film let's see let's put marcus on the spot Marcus never picks up the phone for me, y'all. He always do this. I'm lucky if I get a text back. I'm just about, I'm about to text him like, I just exposed you on YouTube. Anyways, he's gonna call me while I'm doing my work walk. Anyways, so I'm about to get into it, switching cameras over from the vlog to the sit down video. Okay vlog, so honestly I need to wrap up today's vlog. Like it's nothing crazy. I'm gonna just take pictures, get dressed, but I wanna get dressed in this outfit. Like I said, I'm gonna put the outfit together first and see what it's given. But I'm gonna like prop y'all up so y'all can see me like kinda change or try things on. I just dropped my pictures on IG though. So like I was saying earlier. I'm thinking this hoodie. I'm thinking this hoodie. And then I'm gonna put it on first before I cut it to see if I wanna cut it. And then I'm gonna basically let me put the clothes on first and so cool. Yeah. Oh this is too thick. This is what happened last time I tried to put this zipper on. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh no. Okay, I was like, I thought it was up. What is this? Uh, here, uh, struggling to put this on. Here's the shoe. I can't see what it's giving. Hold on, I gotta call Marcus. I gotta see. Okay guys, so I found my friend Mark And we're gonna take some pictures and have fun in our land down. Our land down. <laughs> this is the impact of Orlando. Impact bro. Impact or Orlando. The impact. The the impact. <laughs> Anyway, we about to take pictures and then I'm gonna go in the house and wrap up this vlog and kind of finish this vlog and then I don't even gonna go out. So if we go out, I mean, it's nothing too crazy, y'all. We probably just get food, vibe out. I'll get a little montage of that, but it's nothing crazy going on. It's a Monday night and so yeah. Damn, your car damn near get quiet as a Tesla. No, nah, no, nah, but it sounds hella quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's right. Oh, that's my neighbor. I know that's right. Look at her, y'all. She's right, okay? Okay. Well, 613 Bob. Please don't play she with her. That's right. Are we right by your crib? Yeah, I feel like I'm trying to find this one spot. Okay. Like, Marcus trying to find out. the spot. If, I was gonna say them that that black fence looked kind of cool. Where? I don't know. We passed it. It's okay. Go to your spot first, and then we'll come back. Yeah, no, it's over there. It's right here. Oh. What? I'm gonna go this. Oh, it's one way. Yeah, it's one way. Okay. The way. Oh, Marcus said. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, the you. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, I was like, Marcus, can you sing that deep? He was like, yeah. And then he did it and I literally almost cried. I wish I could have got that on camera. Then nigga Marcus said, Oh, you hoes, all of you hoes. I can't do it, y'all. What's over here? What kind of work they do in buildings like that? I know where we at. This the spot that we used to go to? Uh -huh. Okay. The black, I feel like that black garage right there. Which one? Oh. Okay. You took pictures of it before? Why did they put these cones up? 
shit. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna prop y'all up. So let's go. Come on, Domino's. I don't have lights on the way here, love. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Quite found. Alright, uh, it's skin girl Abdul. <laughs> so we're around the same pictures. Just pop y'all here. I'm passing the phone to somebody who got all the It Boy stuff, but won't make It Boy content because they can't be consistent. We're not going to clock me. Oh, we're clocking! <laughs> Tick tock! I'm passing, this is what I'm talking about, consistency. I'm passing the phone to the bitch that is a rapper, but doesn't make no music. Wait, wait, I make music, I just didn't drop. 
Be shady correct. If you're gonna be shady, now turn the camera. If you're gonna be shady, be correct, bitch. Be FFR. <laughs> no pose. I'm passing the phone to a bitch that be trying to clock me when they don't even be on point themselves. I'm passing the phone to a bitch that love a good invisible part. <laughs> <laughs> I can explain. My wigs, I'm waiting on new wigs, so yes, I got a couple illusion parts going on in my legs. <laughs> but maybe you didn't have to do that. Okay. I'm passing the phone. Bitch that can't live without some hair fibers. Spray spray. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, and ass. This is about to talk about my fibers. <laughs> I bleach my hair too much, but I'm passing the phone to a bitch where her legs float in her boots. <laughs> Right. We got a fake friend on the phone, y'all. Hey, hey. B just got here. We finna go outside in Orlando, yeah. What'd you say, Nike? Please. Marcus is here being in a baby. Custom tag. Custom tag. Literally, custom. He just got his tag in and it says, hey, boy, please don't play. And he's making it black because it had like these ugly stripes on it. Period. Anyway, the meat scissors. The meat struggling over there with the meat scissors. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right now, y'all. Um, it's 10:53, and then I'm gonna start the new vlog for tomorrow, and then we'll just go from there. Uh, I apologize for Marcus being shady. Like, just I just apologize on his behalf because he just did a lot in that last clip. But it is what it is. And um, <laughs> Naki need to clean his ears because he don't listen when I told him that we was linking up. <laughs> and uh, what do B gotta do? B oh, need Lord. to stop telling us to go to Alchemy because it's fresh. <laughs> Y'all said Monday, and it's Monday. That's what's giving. Me. There's no food. And I don't know. I'm scared of alchemy because Nike know what happened the last time we went to alchemy. I ain't step a foot there. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his face. Last time we went to alchemy, boy, they done broke the table, chair. They done dropped the hookah. Marcus. Marcus, you was up? That was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, literally, no, I had to come out my pocket for a $50 Ikea table. And they tried to tax us a lot. Me and Nike had to split the table. I'm so mad about that. Because I... I no, got, Ikea tables are cheap. But here's my thing. When all that transpired, I was black, blacked out. I didn't even know what happened until the next day. Oh, somebody was standing on the table? Baby, it was... I'm going to end the vlog right here. <laughs> I see the next one. Love ya. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>